Hi, this is Scott McClemens at CEO Velocity Consulting. My strategic partner, Solve and I, have created an application called Customer 360, which is designed to help you acquire and retain profitable customers and create a more profitable organization. The thought is we understand our customers better, what the trends are within our database, what the trends are within our marketplace, and we're able to create more value for our different customer groups. This is built in a business intelligence tool called ClickSense. Right now, we're looking at branch profit groups. Prior to this, we really haven't in our videos drilled into anything very uh, micro, but now we're looking at individual stores. So this could be regions, it could be uh, business units, but in this particular instance, we're looking at branches, and, and especially bank branches, credit union branches. Now, of, of course, this can be adapted to any industry, any business, but right now we're looking at financial institutions. And if you recall, we've, um, we've talked about profit groups. So we've had end zone households, those in our top 10%, making almost 80% of our profits. We've got red zone households, mass market, and lower tier. And of course, here we're able to see the distribution of those households by branch. So we know, for example, that at the Abernathy Square branch, they have got a lot of lower tier households, about 16,000. So their primary <clears throat> challenge is going to be how do we take some of these these lower tier households and migrate them into either the mass market or the red zone or the end zone so that we're able here to develop strategies for each particular branch so but from a macro perspective from an enterprise level we know that we had some issues with that end zone two profit group. The end zone two had, um, had $30,000 annually per household. However, we also know that they were under cross sold. There are about roughly 30% of them that were in a high risk category. So this is how they're distributed, that end zone two profit group, group by branch. We know Georgetown has uh, an abundance of them. But if you remember, we wanted to find those that were at, at high risk of attrition. So we zero into that category. We find that at Sandy Springs, 445 end zone two households that are at high risk of attrition are at the Sandy Springs branch. That's where all these households are, are accumulated. So if this is a big part of our strategy as a bank or a credit union to solidify the relationships with these, uh, with these end zone two households, because they make us, as I said, $30,000 per year, we've got a, that, that Sandy Springs branch and their staff is really the focus of our entire strategy for these end zone two households. So we have got to, with our marketing department, our CFO, uh, and the branch manager and perhaps the regional manager over that Sandy Springs branch, and our training department, we've really got to empower our, our Sandy Springs branch personnel and equip them with ways to sell additional services to, to these end zone two households. Now, if you remember uh, from uh, a demographic uh, illustration, <clears throat> well, we'll just go to it right now. We know that um, they're in particular groups, the affluent, the highly wealthy, 45 to 65 years old, and then they're also heavily concentrated in uh, comfortable households, career-oriented, taking hold, kind of a millennial group that is, and uh, early Gen Xers who 
have strong incomes, well-educated, and are five to 10 years into their careers. So those are primarily who we're going to be uh, marketing to, although we do have this comfortable households and a few other uh, groups, but we don't want to get our staff too spread out in terms of what they have to remember. So we know for at Sandy, at Sandy Springs, we're going to have to give them a lot of scripts, a lot of automation, a lot of what to say, uh, how to prompt them in terms of these, these uh, households. We're going to have to really, with our, our web marketing team, focus hard on, on some, creating some social media as well as some, uh, some good email scripting for them. So uh, that is uh, uh, one aspect of what we want to look at on our, in our branch groups. But if you remember, we also said that we've got some, some real challenges with the red zone households because they tend to migrate a lot. Remember, they migrate, about 26% of them migrate to the end zone and another 56% migrate downward to the mass market, causing us, costing us about $14 million in profitability per year. And you might recall that the, the volatility was all found in the one to three year category. Customers who had been with us one to three years, and we find those uh, located, almost 2,700 of them, at the Georgetown branch. So we know that there is a lot of volatility at this branch. This branch is the real determination of whether or not we are going to turn that downward migration from red zone to mass market around and whether we're going to be able to accelerate that upward migration from red zone to the end zone. So Georgetown suddenly becomes a critical branch in our entire strategy and then the profitability of our entire bank.